Are we live? We're live. <laughs> it is Sew Together Tuesday. I'm Teresa Coates. I'm the National Educator for Shannon Fabrics, and I am here at Patchwork Plus in Dayton, Virginia for today's summer shorts. So we are starting off with talking all about cuddle and minky and what is it. So one of the most common questions that I get is what is minky or what is the difference between cuddle and minky? So those two often get very confused and people don't really know. So today we're going to talk all about it and explain what the difference is. So basically, Minky is 100% polyester, microfiber, plush fabric. So there's a whole bunch of different kinds of Minky. So we are not the only producer. Shannon Fabrics is not the only producer of Minky fabrics, but we do make the best. So we have a whole bunch of varieties of them. We're going to talk about that today. I forgot, as always share the video <laughs> and we'll give away a kit at the end of the show. So we'll draw a winner and uh, give away a kit. All right, so come on down here and let's talk about some of the different kinds of cuddle. So this is uh, our, a variety of our cuddle minky fabrics. Okay, so I wanna talk through and we're just gonna kind of explain each one of them and what the differences are. We actually have a ton of different colors. Oh gosh, we have like, I don't know. 150 or something different colors of solids, hundreds of prints, I don't even know. Um, and then a lot of Lux cuddles and we'll talk about that. But there is a big variety, I'm just showing you a few, a handful today. So the thing about cuddle slash minky is that it has a nap, so it's kind of like velvet in that way. And the solid cuddles, which we also call flat cuddle or C3, regular cuddle, has a nap that goes downwards. So you can see when I push it, it gets really nice and smooth. When I do it the other direction, it kind of riles up and we call that zebra stripes is what happens. So it has a nap, goes this way. That is parallel to the selvage. So this is really important to remember is that if your selvage is here, your nap is gonna go next to that one way or the other. All right, if I push it this way or this way, it looks exactly the same. That's because this is sideways on the fabric. This is lengthwise on the fabric. That's where your nap is. So that's really important to remember. It also helps you know which way the stretch is. So the stretch is always parallel or perpendicular to the selvage doesn't stretch along the selvage, right? So lengthwise, no stretch, widthwise, stretch. So this is, like I said, this is our cuddle three. It's a three millimeter nap. See if we can get in there so you can see how, see that nap at all? You see how long it is? It's a tiny little thing, okay? But that's three millimeters. Some of the other minkies that are out there are one millimeter or two millimeters. Okay, this one's a three millimeter and that's how long each one of those little hair bits, fibers, fibers, that's the right word. So each one of those little fibers is three millimeters long. Okay, this one is one of our digital prints, which I think is super cute. Look at those little guys. Okay, the pandas might be my favorite. That is a panda, right? It is a panda. All of a sudden I, I questioned, ooh, ooh, I was that's like, wait. A panda. Okay, panda, whew. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things about the digital, so we have um, digital prints and we have conventional prints. And I don't have a conventional print right here with me. Um, but the digital prints will have a lot more color. So when they're screen printing on Cuddle, you can only have a limited color palette in what they can do on the screen. A digital print is a little bit different the way that they do it and you have inf infinite variety of colors. So a lot of the prints are, the digital prints now, this is the same way as that the stretch is gonna be widthwise. Lengthwise, there's no stretch, and the nap goes this way. It's a little harder to tell. Oh, this one's a pretty good print, so you can kind of tell which way the nap goes. So you can also tell on this way which way it goes just because it's a directional print, okay? So there are directional prints, and then there are tossed prints, which are the ones that the prints are kind of just all over, and you can't really tell which is up and down. But this is a digital print, so we have regular Cuddle 3 prints and digital Cuddle prints, all right? So we have solid prints, there's also this other kind of cuddle, which is our cuddle dimple, all right? So this one, again, the nap goes this direction. If I push it backward, changes the color, stretch this way, stretch this way. So this, the cuddle dimple doesn't actually have any more stretch this way. It's made out of the same stuff as this, but when they 
process it, manufacture it, do whatever magic trick they do to give these little dots to it. As you're pulling it, you're actually flattening those dots, and so it feels like it stretches. When in actuality, it's not actu it's not stretchier, but it will behave like it's a stretchier fabric. So this is a difference between ours and somebody else's because our solid doesn't stretch this direction. This is the only one that you'll find that has some stretch this way. Otherwise, ours only has stretch widthwise. All right? Got it. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So this is the Cuddle Dimple. It is a little bit squirrelier because it has a little bit more movement in all the directions. All right? It is super fun because it's got this great texture on it, and it's really great for um, taggy blankets. What if you want to call them like... What are those? Like the tactile blankets? Yeah, or? fidget blankets. That's what oh, they call it. Gotcha. Fidgets. Okay. So these are really good for that. Then we have Lux Cuddles, and I have a few of them here to show you. Lux Cuddles, so all of these are a three millimeter nap. The Lux Cuddle goes up and it starts at a 10 millimeter nap. So this one is our hide, which is the most common one that we have, and we have a lot of colors, hundred and something colors now, of the hide. It's great for all sorts of things. You can use it on the back of a quilt, for a blanket. Use it for binding, stuffed animals, anything you want to. So this is the hide. Let me open it up so you can see the nap on it really nicely where it actually has like some of the, I want to say like faux furish kind of look, like it's kind of swirling all the ways. It is not faux fur, okay? So make sure you remember that. It is minky fabric. It is not faux fur. And what's the difference between those two? So faux fur is usually, I think always, but I have a hard time saying always, uh, made with acrylic and polyester. It is dry clean only. And Cuddle is machine washable because it's 100% polyester. So they're different, they require different cleaning and they'll behave differently. Faux furs generally have a much thicker backing. This has a pretty thin backing that's actually nice and smooth. Okay, so that's the biggest difference there. So this one is a hide. Let's see if we can pop that up so you can see the, the length of nap on that one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these two together. Hold on, so we can see the difference in the nap. Okay, so three millimeters for the yellow, 10 millimeters for the brown. All right, so it's a big difference. You can see, obviously, and this will do all sorts of things. But this nap is actually really good, and we'll talk about it more. We talk about it in other Sew Together Tuesdays about hiding mistakes. So, um, yeah, if you watch Sew Together Tuesday before, you know there's reasons that I'm like, choose the Lux. It'll hide everything. Okay, so this one is hide. This one is ridge. So I wanted to show you this because it's a little bit different. It has, like, a base color. So the backing is this darker blue, and then it has a color on top of it. It's a lighter. I don't know how they do this magic, but it is lovely, and it's cut funky. So some of, so there's different ways of putting the designs in. This is heat set. So this design in here of the which way this, the nap goes is a heat set design. This one is, now I forgot the word, where it's cut. All right, so it's actually the fibers are chopped so that it will give this, this look. So some of these fibers are short. You can see some little short ones, and little these variety. are long ones. Got it, there's a variety of lengths as right. opposed to just a variety of directions. Exactly, so it, it. All, the, all the nap goes this way, but the way that they get this design in there is by cutting the length of the fibers different lengths. Okay, so it's really interesting to me because you can get all sorts of different looks with it. All right, and then we have some longer ones. So this one is our seal, and it is a 15 millimeter nap. Let me show you that compared to the hide, because we compared those before. Okay, so you can see, you see that's longer? Okay, so this one is longer than this one. Look at the difference with this. Okay, that's a big difference right there. That is, the, <laughs> by the way, the, the feel of the seal is luxurious. The feel of the seal is awesome. So basically this is the same sort of thing as this. It's a smooth cuddle. It doesn't, you can see it doesn't have any design in it. It's just, it's flat. Basically, those fibers just come straight off the side, um, kind of like this does, but you can brush it in a way that the nap all lays down and it's beautiful. Okay, the same way this works. Push it back, make it stand up. This is just incredibly long. So, and we actually have another one called Sable that I think is even longer. So Sable is an even denser one. And one of the things that I like about this is if you look, so see if we can show how dense the fibers are in there. And you can just see there's just a ton of them. And so it is, it's really, it's thick and uh, doesn't squish down so 
easily. So it's a little bit different fabric to work with and uh, we'll talk more about cutting it next week. Uh, but it's super cool. So there are lots of different variations. This is the longest um, of the ones that people normally use for blankets. So we have uh, the Lux Cuddle Shaggy goes all the way up, if I remember correctly, to 30 millimeters. Super long, that's a different kind of cuddle or Lux Cuddle. So we have like dozens, dozens of different kinds of Lux Cuddle. Then we have the Cuddle Dimple, Digital Cuddle, and digital cuddle prints and cuddle prints, okay? So we have those are the variations as well as obviously the Cuddle 3 solids. So all of those are 100% polyester, all of them are machine washable, and all of them are great for a whole bunch of different projects. So to answer the question, what is Minky? Is 100% polyester, microfiber plush? Beautiful fabric, Cuddle is the Shannon Fabrics brand name for it. So that's the thing to remember, that's the one you wanna look for, is to look for the Shannon Fabrics Cuddle Minky and make sure that you're getting the very best quality. All right, I think, is that everything? I think that's it. Oh, are we gonna I give away a kit? We'll give away a kit. Okay, um, it's gonna pop, we'll, I think we're gonna, it's gonna pop up on a it'll, banner. It'll pop up on the screen right, and we'll, uh, we'll get a hold of you. You'll get a hold of us, one of those things, and we'll give you a kit. All right, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Happy sewing.